these 10 days are like amazing. Rasulullah sallallahu told us a secret about them, that there is no other days that good deeds more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. And um, they said, not even Ya Rasulullah, like the struggle for the sake of Allah, like in the battlefield, he said, not even struggle for the sake of Allah. The only one that can beat someone who did good in these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah is someone who left his home with his money for the sake of Allah and came back with nothing. Lost all of his money and he gave it away all in charity, spent his entire life for the sake of Allah and came back home with nothing. Imagine, like it's a, it's a secret that Rasulullah told us about that Allah told him about, that he's telling us his ummah. These 10 days, Allah said, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرِ وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ By the early morning dawn, and you know the word dawn in the human language means hope, change, the truth, the coming of, you know, new things. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> is telling us, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرِ And by the 10 nights and those Ten nights are agreed upon that they are the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah. The ulama say these are the ten days that the five pillars of Islam all come together. You pray five times a day, you give charity in the form of slaughtering the lamb, you fast the day of Arafah, you go to Hajj, and you say the Shahada again and again and again, like every day with Adhan, with Salah, with Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik La Sharika Laka Labbaik. The five pillars of Islam come in these 10 days. What can you do? What can you do? Insha'Allah, first declare your tawbah for all the last year. Maybe you didn't do well in Ramadan. This is your chance. Maybe you did so many mistakes this last year. This is your chance. Declare your repentance. Ask for forgiveness. That's number one. Nothing beats that. Number two, make the intention that you will make the best out of these 10 days. Number two, right? Subhanallah. And number three, you know, uh, turn that niyyah into action. So what could be the action in the first 10 days of, of Dhul Hijjah? One, you can fast the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Tomorrow is Thursday. You can fast tomorrow and Monday and Thursday. You know, subhanAllah, this is beautiful. Uh, fasting the day of Arafah is a major day uh, that, you know, the Prophet ﷺ called it the best day in the year is the day of Arafah. And this is amazing. Um, and then uh, making the intention that inshallah uh, you will slaughter on the day, if you can afford it, on the day of Eid. And mashallah, now so many organizations are offering us to give our udhiya in actually uh, different countries where they need it the most. So don't forget that. Subhanallah. What can you do? You can give charity. You can fast. You can read Quran. You can pray extra. You can care about the people and their pain and help them. Uh, as this is one of the easiest gates of Jannah is to help people. Don't forget that, brothers and sisters, and connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Read more Quran. You know how we all feel like reading Quran in Ramadan? We can feel like reading Quran now in the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us the, the niyyah and the right niyyah, the right actions, the right words, so that we all, inshallah, Take advantage of these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. And inshallah, uh, starting tomorrow, we will be releasing uh, again the names of the Quran and the description of the Quran in the Quran. Um, we'll go back to that series as we covered around um, 11 descriptions in the Quran. We still have four more descriptions to reach 15, and then there we continue, inshallah. Uh, with that series as there is 60 descriptions of the Quran in the Quran, which is intended to make you excited more about reading the Quran and more about taking your solutions from the Quran. So again, I am connecting with you today to remember the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, 
declare your repentance, ask for forgiveness for everything that you've done last year. Number two, you know, uh, uh, basically make the intention that you will make the best out of these 10 days. And number three, turn that intention into action and ask Allah to help you. You might be busy, that's okay. Allah will help you. You only we worship and from you we ask help. Jazakumullah khair. And inshallah we will stay in touch on these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah again and again and again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.